everyone, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you so much for joining me in my video today, which is my June sewing plans. So um, yeah, for anyone that's wondering, um, Michelle, you look the same as your last video last week. Yes, I'm recording two videos back to back. <laughs> that's only because I've got a busy weekend. Um, so I just thought, yeah, I'd do two videos, release one last week and then one this week, <laughs> just in case anyone's wondering. Um, so yeah, my June sewing plans. Now, I do have to um, say that I have got minimal plans um, for June and that is because um, I'm going away on holiday. Uh, my husband and I booked um, a bit of a last minute um, holiday away. We just decided to say, no, we need a holiday. We've had a lot going on um, and everything recently. So we're just kind of like, yeah, let's just jet off somewhere nice and hot <laughs> so yeah I'm going to be um away for um a little bit of June so I haven't got a lot of time to do sewing also in June I also have a weekend away for um a hen do as well um so I literally have I think one weekend free um, I think in June which will probably get filled up with other things um, and I tend to do the majority of um, my sewing on the weekends um, just because yeah during the week I don't really have a lot of time but uh, yeah so I have, have got a few things um, but they're kind of quick wins um, and I thought this would actually probably maybe be good for some people when you know, it could be that um, you don't really know what to sew or you don't have a lot of time. Um, yeah, so I've got three things that I'm going to share with you that I plan to do. If I don't get around to making them, then hey, I don't get around to making them. But it's quite nice just for me personally to have some um, plans and some goals, because when I um, have time to sew, I don't want to have to kind of you know look around you know going oh what fabric do I want to use what patterns do I want to use and waste time I'd rather make some plans of what I want to make for that month and then I can just go in my sewing room grab a project and get going with it so all of my projects um for garments are um jersey because I can sew them all directly on my overlocker um you know just nice and simple makes or at least for me I, I, I do really enjoy sewing with jersey so uh, where should I start let's actually start off with um, this one this fabric now I, I apologize I can't remember where this fabric came from it's been in my stash um, for quite some time and I can't for the life of me remember where I got it from but it is a meter of this beautiful tropical leaf cotton jersey oh, isn't it beautiful so uh, my quick win for this is going to be um the itch to stitch lego tank that is um a little um vest top that i have made quite a few times and i really really like it it's got an ever so slight sort of racer back um design um and i really really enjoy making it it's so nice and quick and i love the fact that it's got a neck band and um sort of like cuff sort of arm um arm holes as well um so yeah i think i'm going to just do the neck band and the cuffs in the same fabric um of this because so i just think it would make a really nice little vest top um for summer and yeah a meter does that absolutely no problem and i just think a little vest top in this fabric would be lovely for summer just because of it being nice and sort of tropical leaf and everything i'm not planning on you know making anything you know for my holiday or anything like that i've got loads of stuff that i can that i can uh, take away but yeah this will be one for maybe when i come back um that i can kind of get stuck into um but yeah i just think those leaves are absolutely gorgeous and it'd be nice to give out out of the stash um, as well. And then my um, other plan is using, this is a remnant um, fabric that I picked up from Beyond the Pink Door a while back. Um, and it is this one. It is a viscose jersey in this beautiful blue. I love all of these shades of blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I picked up the remnant um, of this, which was, now I can't remember, I'll have to have a look back or just, just measure it. Um, I think it's either a metre or something like one point, no, no, it's, 
it's 90 centimeters I, it's coming back to me now because i've got another remnant piece which is either a meter or 1.2 this one was the one that was 90 centimeters <laughs> Um, and I thought I could make myself a t-shirt from this. It's a lovely drapey viscose jersey. Let me open it out um, on the single layer on there for you there. So yeah, you can see if I uh, show you the width across there. So yeah, it's just shy of a meter. I think it's about 90 um, centimeters, I think. So when I'm cutting out um, a t-shirt, I'm using that sort of length, that's the length of it. So I'm thinking of doing just a very basic um, t-shirt, which will be, top I'm wearing, <laughs> well, I'm wearing a dress version of it, is the Sew Over It Molly Top. It's one of my favorite t-shirts um, to make. It's a lovely, lovely shape. And um, I know that I can get it just shy of um, a meter because um, it's quite a long line t-shirt but if it doesn't quite fit I can shorten it quite easily um, and it wouldn't be an issue with it being ever so slightly shorter so that's what I'm going to do with that um, so I can use this beautiful fabric and then my third plan is um, to make a cardigan. So again, this is a remnant piece that I got from Beyond the Pink Door. I got it actually at the same time as that viscose. Um, and it is a faux angora knit. It's this lovely sort of icy blue, sort of greyish sort of blue. Really, really pretty. This is so soft. It's absolutely amazing. And it's a really nice lightweight knit but without being see-through. It's really light. Can you see how drapey and soft it is? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I want to make myself a little short sleeved cardigan. So I'm thinking of making the Harper cardigan by Sinclair Patterns. Um, and it's, it's a free pattern. Um, I have made it um, a couple of times before, once for me, once for my mum. I did like that sort of the longer um, style, but I was thinking of doing like a short, cardigan with um a sort of if i can maybe three quarter sleeve half sleeve if i can get enough out of it as i say i think it was about one meter or 1.2 meters um in width on this one i have got quite a bit so i think i should be okay um on there um and it will go so nicely with my t-shirt on this one as well so if you can imagine obviously that being um, the t-shirt and then this being the cardigan that sits over the top I think that would be absolutely lovely so yes yeah, so I thought that would be some nice quick wins um, to do with um, my sewing you know obviously because I'm a bit limited on time I think I'm going to try and prioritize doing these two because it would make a nice little outfit i think um and also being you know a vest top and stuff i mean we're not quite true vest top um weather at least for me yet i like it to be you know kind of like at least mid 20s before i start you know kind of wearing all my vest tops without a cardigan um but yeah so i think i'll try and prioritize those two i think now there are three garments there. Now I'm not going to be doing a sew along. So I'm very, very sorry for those of you that were really happy that my sew alongs are back and everything. Um, I do have my Mabel dress sew along coming to you very, very soon. Um, by the time you're watching this, uh, it'll probably be released next week, which I think is the first weekend of June. That's what I'm thinking of um, releasing that. So you will have a sew along to watch, but it just means I'm not going to be doing um, another one until when I start doing my plans and things for July. And that is just because I don't have the time to do it. Um, so yeah, that is my uh, plans just for if I can sneak any of those in. Now, I do have another plan, which I was going to share with you. I mean, it, you might not necessarily be interested because it's not garment sewing. Um, it's actually embroidery. Um, so some of you may know that I do enjoy some cross stitch and I mainly do cross stitch cards, uh, like sort of birthday cards, you know, Christmas cards. I really enjoy doing um, those um, and I don't often cross stitch for myself. 
Um, and I kind of thought, you know what, when I'm away on holiday, I'm going to take a little cross stitch kit with me, but it's going to be one that I want to make for myself. Usually if I go away on trips or anything like that, I'll just take a cross stitch card um, kit, you know, so that I can, you know, do that ready in time for, you know, someone's birthday or, you know, bulk do some for Christmas. But yeah, I want to do something for myself. Now, if you'd seen my sewing room tour, you may remember on my Calax unit, um, I did actually make um, a little cross stitch picture um, for myself, which was a pattern that was given to me by the lovely Karen from So Little Time, which is of a sewing bunny. <laughs> I'll insert a picture of it here so you can have a look if you didn't capture it. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know what, I want to maybe fill that side of my Calax um, with cross stitch pictures for me to enjoy in my sewing room. So I will continue to still do all of my cross stitch cards as the priority, but just every now and again, you know, I'm just gonna try and make something for me. So the project that I thought I could take away on holiday with me would be this one, <laughs> which is, um, I got this actually on a, in um, a sale when I went to the knitting and stitching show last year. Um, so yeah, I got a few pounds off that, which was great. Um, and yeah, it is a lovely tea and pansies. I absolutely love this design. When I um, went to the stand where I bought it from, I can't remember the name of the stand, unfortunately, um, but I saw this one and I immediately picked it up. I was like, I need that one because I love my tea. I'm sure you guys know if you've been following me for a while, I love my tea um, and I love like these little pansies because I've got um, a new to me sort of garden. Um, we redid our garden last year and I didn't really have um, any sort of like flowers and things and I bought myself a whole load of pansies over winter, um, which just made my garden just look a little bit brighter um, and I looked after them and deadheaded them and everything and they went all you know going all the way until sort of early spring when my um, like my daffodils and things were popping up so um, yeah I just I really really like this picture um, and it just kind of has that little sentimental feeling for me um, which you know I know it might be a bit strange but uh, you know just sometimes things just you know uh, sort of capture you a little bit more so this is one for me. Uh, so yeah, I thought this has um, a great place ready on my Calax unit for my sewing room. Um, I mean, I am under no illusion that I will get this finished uh, when I'm on holiday. I'm sure I won't um, because, you know, yes, I will be kind of quite busy um, on holiday and I don't really want to be, you know, doing a cross stitch, you know, by the pool or anything like that, getting like sun creams and stuff on that. No, um, it's mainly for, you know, if I'm sitting, you know, in my hotel room, wanting to chill out for a little bit or sitting on like my balcony um, that I can maybe do it then. Um, also, um, uh, depending on your airline, you can sometimes um, do cross stitch on a plane. Now, you need to check with your airline because I don't think all of them allow it. Um, but I know that the airline that I fly with does allow um, me to do cross stitch. But um, yeah, just a word of warning, if you are going to take a cross stitch kit with you, do check before you fly. Um, and if you are going to um, um, go, even if you have checked, pop a spare needle in your uh, main um, luggage as well, just in case. Because if they were to, you know, even though if I'd had it pre-agreed, um, if they do take the needle away from me, that I'm going to still need a needle when I <laughs> get to the other side. Um, so yeah, just, you know, take a couple of spare needles just as a little top tip. But um, yeah, I've never had a problem um, taking my cross stitch on the plane. Um, so yes, uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that as well. So yeah, I'm going to have a, a five hour flight. So um, yeah, that'll um, kill some time. Um, but yeah, that is my plan. So let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, I probably won't see you um, for a couple of weeks. I'm going to have some um, like videos kind of like pre-recorded for you. I'm going to, as I mentioned, I've got my Mabel um, sew along and I will probably do, I've got a fabric and pattern haul actually. I've got a few things I haven't shown you yet. So that'll make quite a nice video. So I'll share that with you as well. Okay, well, take care, everyone, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.